Anyways, what I wanted to talk about was that I didn't talk about Kayla Kent last week in my Sunday with Ola. I got a lot of comments from people saying like, Oh shit, you're not gonna talk about Kayla Kent being on the Pantera list? Or like, oh shit, all England hates Kayla Kent. There's at least five people that were in my comment section writing shit like this. And I'm just standing here like... You know, I'm just trying to get my kid out of bed in the morning to go to school. <laughs> so I missed a piece of news. <laughs> so I missed a piece of news last week. And uh, some people, I would call them simps, probably. Which is, you know, it's okay to be a simp. That just uh, shows that they're passionate fans of Kayla Kent. What was the news again? Well, the news was that Kayla Kent was also on the running on a list, a short list from Phil Anselmo about being a potential Pantera guitar player now that Pantera is out uh, tributing again. And she released a great video uh, from the- Wow, oh, shit, that's loud, sorry. Kayla released a really good vlog video with all the footage that she had when she went to the Pantera concert uh, at her- I don't know which uh, show it was, but one of them. She also mentioned that uh, Phil had said that she was on the shortlist for a potential Pantera Pantera guitar player when they started the tribute thing again. That does not surprise me at all that Kayla Kent was also on this list. And the people in the comments section were like, oh, you know, it's probably, you know, Ola didn't want Kayla to also be on the list because Ola's an asshole. Obviously, she's gonna be on the list. You know, probably just as Attila and Wes Hawk and many other potential uh, guitar players that can nail Pantera's shit. In my opinion, I think Kayla is probably a way more fitting option than me, for instance, because Kayla knows her shit. I mean, go check out her chow. She's doing the solos justice. And, you know, she has a knack for it. People just assume that uh, I know all the Pantera solos by heart. That's not the case. As soon as they're in there, I play them for a video or play live, for instance. One week after, they're gone. You know, they're gone out of my head. Because I obviously have other things to play and other things that I'm learning or, you know, I'm recording albums and whatnot. I think Kayla's a better option because she has it all down. You can go watch her uh, YouTube channel. No question about it. So huge congratulations to Kyla for this amazing job. There we go. That's it. Don't use my name. I don't want to be uh, bundled up as an artist. I don't want to be mentioned. 